Hello and welcome back. My name is Jonas and in this tutorial I want to talk a little bit about uh, destructibles and how we can partially destroy things. Um, and for that I have brought in my little character here. He has a gun and I turned off the, the sound. Uh, anyway, um, he has this... Um, uh, yeah, he, he can uh, shoot and um, Whenever he shoots, he's causing some damage to the environment. And if we open up the gun uh, blueprint, we can see that he has a base damage of uh, 25 damage uh, with a radial damage. Um, so it's also applying a little bit of radius here. Um, so um, let's first off create something we can destroy. And for that, uh, we need some. Um, let's take a curb stair. And let's also take a box. And let's resize it a little bit. Let's move it a little bit over here. Let's make another one. Size it out a little bit. Like this, maybe. this I think would be nice and I think I'm gonna build a little castle really fast this is not really about building but uh, it's, it's fun and I know I suck at it but it's still fun <laughs> uh, let's make this a little bit smaller so awesome tower I know um, Let's make a tunnel into this, just to illustrate how we can combine these uh, primitives. Uh, so I'm placing another box in here. Actually, I think I'm going to make it a little bit taller, like this. Sometimes I get stuck in there. All right, so that looks good. So um, now we have our primitive set up and uh, Let's uh, notice that um, over here we have a brush type and right now it's additive. But I can check subtract, uh, subtractive. And this causes this one to subtract from the, the volume here. So once I run in, I can actually run, run through this. So I just created a little tunnel. But so what we want to do next is to take all our primitives, select them by holding control and let's see if I can find them. I should maybe give them a name. Click, click. Uh, should be one here. All right. And then we can click this one called create static mesh. And let's just place it in the root. All right. So this actually uh, replaces these um, Five, four, uh, four, five uh, primitives with um, with the static mesh version. So uh, now we have the static mesh version. So let's see. Uh, one thing is that now it's uh, it has no um, collision anymore. So if you don't want to destroy this, by the way, uh, but you just want to have this uh, as a static content in your in your level. Um, you can click here, and uh, since this is kind of a complex uh, structure, uh, semi-complex, uh, there's one setting down here called Collision Complexity, and you can set that to use complex collision as simple, and save this, and then we can run around and we can also enter the tunnel. The reason for using this instead of creating an actual uh, collision um, structure by using this one auto convex uh, collision is that uh, if I click this one, it will analyze the structure. Oops, I need to pick this off on off to default. And then it will create this for me. And in some cases, uh, it will create some um, some 
collision inside, for example, tunnels where it doesn't really allow you to pass. And you can also see down here, uh, it, uh, it's not so, well, it, it, you can't really pass into this area. Uh, you can uh, modify it, this all the way up to 32, but that's as far as it can go. Uh, so it has some limitations. Uh, so instead of this, I will use use complex as simple. All right. So let's continue and right click our um, static mesh and create a destructible mesh. So in here, we want to first create a decent high number. Let's say 300. That's quite high. And click fracture mesh. So this creates all these. Uh, cracks in it and that's how it's gonna break whenever uh, I break it um, so let's say maybe 300 maybe 400 and we can also uh, adjust this let's say first fracture let's see what happens so this creates this pattern and if we adjust on this one just some random and then click fracture again it will create a different fracture pattern so you can adjust this one if you're not satisfied with the, the pattern it comes up with um, as we remember, I had uh, 25 damage so uh, on my rifle, so let's just for the illustration here, give this um, 50 hit points. So that's uh, first of all, once it's going to break, and uh, we want to click auto accumulate damage, so it breaks uh, after two shots. So let's see how this works. Um, so if I shoot it few times come on I forgot to replace it uh, this one is the breakable version actually let me set some material it's gonna look a little bit better mm, I don't know which one is looking good this one maybe Nothing happened, but oh, uh, some pepper. Wow, that's terrible. Sorry, I need to change this. I know it's completely irrelevant, but <laughs> I needed to change that. I was just. That's not much better. Anyway, so let's shoot a few, few shoot it a few times, and we can see now it breaks, and it's starting to fall apart. So, but everything is falling apart, and I'm not really satisfied with that. Although it did look look kind of cool, with it kind of breaking apart really slowly. Actually, that's pretty cool. Anyway, it wasn't really the effect what I was after. So uh, I wanted to make this break where I shoot it. And for that, we can uh, come back to the destructible mesh. And we can find the little uh, thing called support depth and set that to one or something. I don't know why it should be one. And if we shoot it now, something different should happen uh, now we can shoot pieces off something like this now it's gonna break whatever I shoot it instead it's kind of hard to see But anyway, and you will notice there's going to be some weird bumps sometimes, and I found that if um, uh, if you want to minimize this, sometimes it helps to set this world support on. I'm not really sure why, but I think it has something to do with the some of the collision logic, so it will make the mesh 
kind of fl fly up into the air if if we don't sit this. Uh, let's see. All right, that's that's okay now. Actually, I want to put this the damage up a little bit. It's going to take forever to destroy this. Uh, let's see, 50. That way it's going to break in one shot. I think. So this is pretty cool, I think. Kind of run around and destroy your building. And you can break it apart with your thread. All right, something else we can do before I end this video, uh, really quickly. Um, let's come back to the primitives, uh, make a little something like this maybe let's just yeah let's just go with this and create static mesh as we did before go back to our console browser and uh, right click create destructible mesh create this one also and let's break this one into yeah, let's just say 200 pieces like this and give it same maybe 25 and accumulate this and work support and support depth like this and let's uh, make sure we have a destructible version and then give this one a material like uh, wood this nice pine wood pine wood like this and it crashed great it does it sometimes hmm. let me just restart this really quickly sure it's probably okay I don't know what it said uh, did it say my little board here uh, seems so um, pine wood pine wood like this all right and let's check we have our settings correct yes we do so let's break this one up so now we can shoot holes in a what uh, thingy and that's pretty cool I think and really break it apart and also a nice effect you can use that technique to yeah kind of create stuff that can be broken down like uh, a barricade or something and eventually I'm gonna make a, a grenade I think this gonna be fun anyway I think that's actually what I wanted to show for this t tutorial I uh, hope you liked it and um, so bye for now and see you in the next tutorial